morning friend uh, today we are going to, we are talking about the documentation in construction field if you have if you are a safety professionals you should must be aware and you should must be knowledge about the documentation because of this is a very important for you if you are if you are a safety professionals then documentation part is a our our base of job because of if you have not maintaining the documentations then you are not doing well and nothing to do because of the as a safety professionals we all are a legal person legal means advocate i think i thought to think everyone's i am a legal person if somebody and if someone have to some Uh, some mistakes happen some any deviations happens then our part of documentation may be helpful to you because of you know that uh, if a project manager and safety a uh, project manager general managers uh, which are uh, related to ex special ex special in uh, project uh, delivery project deliver on time if a project manager not uh, maintaining the documentation so then then managing director then boss is happy to our building grow 1 2 3 4 5 and every month coming some uh, every month coming good uh, good finance and good uh, good uh, means finance so that they are happy but i just safety professionals so what you are doing and what uh, uh you are doing every every e ones must be considered about the documentation because they are not flexibility and not any ones uh, any ones uh, clear visuality of safety because of safety is a non productivity if you have think uh, this is our uh, this is not our thinking this is also management thinking safety is not not productivity because of there are a lot of wastage of uh, wastage we cannot say wastage but a lot of money he, money he expend about the health and safety but uh, but you we should uh, we think about the importance of life if projects uh, if we are going to who, who may, uh, build a good uh, build a high rise building so there were uh, limitations of uh, every budgeting costing and loss of loss and profit if in case of any accident happens then loss uh, then company may be very very if financials may be loss so that that you should prepare uh, we all are aware about the documentation part because of after accident everyone check your documentation how many trainings you have conducted how many observations you have conducted after accident before accident nothing anyone ask to you why why uh, what you are doing but after accident every month question arise to you what you are doing within 3 months 6 months and every month so that times very supporting very useful for your documentation part what you have done what you have uh, 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 recorded where is mistake where is communication uh, to other persons related everything should be written procedure so first we uh, first so our oh, documentation part is a very important part if you are working as safety professional so guys uh, so how to maintaining safety uh, documentation and how many a day how many uh, many uh, times we should maintain the documentations because of if you have if you are working a big project and there are the value of a project there is tenant of project 3 years 2 years then you should maintain minimum record of 3 years this is 3 years so why we are maintaining 3 three, three years because of every something will be it e deviations so then you can understood you can uh, check the your documentation part but properly start in your uh, uh, your uh, safety office and maybe e monthly basis you can uh, record it and uh, collected and sent to uh, corporate head office 
After the three years project, till the project not completed, that time set documentation so must be proper, uh, proper um, storage and proper maintaining. And every files uh, must be maintained within three months. Every e file, uh, file because of file, uh, if you are as uh, use uh, if you are uh, stacking uh, more of uh, papers in file, then file will be e damaged. So that. Every three months record must be e recorded in file and after that remove uh, remove from file and properly stack in some cartoons and some boxes. So this is our uh, our part of work. After that we will discuss about the, the uh, how many types of documentation you should prepare in construction industry for safety safety purpose. So guys, uh, the organization should be clearly define and various type of documentation required at construction project and specify effect, effect, effect and operational procedures and control. It is very important uh, documentation, uh, documentation enabling to an organization to implement successful occupational health safety management system. If you have not mentioned there you are nothing doing well. So guys, first we have discussed about the HSC plan. Why HSC plans need? Because of project, project specific HSC plan should be prepared. Because, of, because you know that some uh, organizations prepare HSC plans uh, centralized. So centralized means there are common, there are general safety measures uh, uh, um, is maintained. Um, Maintain so as a safety professor, you should prepare project specific safety plans. So, there is your mention the logistic plan, there are mention your equipment, uh, store, or and, and other things. HSC plans means what you are doing in specific, specific project. After that, uh, after that, uh, how many types of uh, how many types of uh, HSC plan first company HSC plans which are already discussed which are organized uh, centralized of uh, HSC plan after the project security plan or security plan must be prepared because of if you have a good uh, uh, safety plan say about the security then you can do the uh, everything you can avoid the any mistakes you can avoid the unauthorized person so uh, and vehicle traffic movements other things will be considered it and after that emergency rescue plan traffic management heavy lifting plans which are required to you should prepare as per job project specific plan and also OHS policy OHS policy is very important because of we are base of uh, base of our implementations on OHS policy because of this is this policy he, he expressed what Express and deliver, uh, express by the managing director. What is the com uh, commitment of managing director? What is aim of about the safety? There are mentioned and written signage by um, uh, managing director. So this is base of safety improvement at your project. At your project, because of if you have managing director are good commitment about safety, then you can do that. Otherwise, nothing should do. As per this is also legal requirement. After that, we are going to discuss about the next HSC manual. HSC manual uh, uh, should be prepared, and uh, our type of HSC manuals. Again, we are talking about the company, a project specific uh, manual, OHS manual, EMS manual, quality management system manual, which are required. So, uh, if you are going to tower cranes, uh, operating tower can dismantling erection, then also tower cranes manual should be. A manufacturer's man manual must be considered and must be keeping in file in case of any e e mistakes you can you can check the safety point of view next next wms work method statement this is a part of uh, safety improvement because of work method statement is very important so nowadays every organizers prefer the uh, work method statements including the in involvement of uh, engineer, supervisor, workshop and uh, project uh, and department head also prepare. 
after that you can uh, you can do the risk assessment if a work method statement should be prepared by engineers then uh, engineers and both are responsible to perfectly uh, do the um, risk assessment at uh, project base and with uh, uh, with a uh, um, side visit because of if you are going to uh, if you are making the is cap holding a uh, risk assessment then you should go on uh, go through on side what is the risk what is the uh, risk controls measures hazards controls measures and which are required to specific persons people so all are considered in uh, work method statement also or risk assessment like hazard identification so risk assessment they call hira next five uh, fifth is there mentions work permit system work permit system is also part of documentation work permit system must be uh, must be prepared must be follow at construction project like which are required in your project specific suppose that if you are uh, um, so work permit system should be maintained maintain at your workplace like the height work permit general work permit uh, confined space work permit electric work permit lifting work permit night work permit excavation work permit that all types of work permit should be prepared and should be e follow at your construction site and there are three types of work uh, three uh, copies should be must one uh, one uh, must be available which uh, persons are uh, perform the work second thing in client and pmc so guys uh, this is very important uh, important work permit system and proper fulfill and proper safety measures should be taken because of know that some people say only for paper fulfilling black and white so guys i guess if you professionals don't uh, um, do the wrongly don't do the uh, uh, i was to others person so do the do job properly proper fulfill fulfill because of this is a written procedure written documentation part you should proper prepare and you should check and that after that you can sign it and that calls approvals your work permit the work permit should be up, uh, must be approvals on regular basis and collecting from the side and record should be maintained at your a uh, safety office next we are discuss a legislations legislations to part of work because of if you, uh, a legal list of legal requirements one register should be maintained at your workplace as yes, like the wc uh, wc policy docw registrations and labor license uh, air noise monitoring test report uh, test report ppi all those are required in construction field related the wage related the all uh, related the wage related the pp certificates which are required to legal in case of in any in any uh, accidents happens then you should prepare because of legal requirements should be proper maintained at uh, don't deviation so don't compromise with the legal requirements because of this is a part of our job or this is responsibility to how to improvement and how to follow at your construction project i just say to professionals so don't compromise related the list of legal requirement in case of any uh, accidents happens then always uh, always face the problem so we, uh, by your managing uh, by your senior management by uh, government body and others uh, others because i am also face that problem in our project next one permissions approval permissions approval record should be maintained at your construction project i just say to professional you should uh, would, uh, take the uh, permissions approval letter suppose that if you are going to some uh, uh, scaffolding work so scaffolding is scratch drying and load capacity e, e should be e, e should be e, e, uh, uh, submitted by the uh, engineers in safety, uh, to safety departments and the uh, uh, scaffolding dg clearance uh, dg clearance letter and basic plant approvals and waste management plan approvals uh, hospital type letters that all are approvals plan must be e, 
collecting and keeping record in your city office. Next is HSC trainings. HSC training is a part of improvements. You know that if you are uh, working a safety, a safety department, safety professional, then you should must be proper conduct a safety training like the safety index trainings and toolbox talk and the job specific trainings, uh, job specific training, uh, uh, specific training, safety, the mass toolbox talk, all those type of safety trainings you have conducted you are conducting then you should make a good uh, um, records monthly basis weekly basis how many safety induction training given how many safety toolbox talk conducted how many uh, uh, mass toolbox con conducted make a uh, matrix safety ma uh, matrix uh, uh, means training matrix then proper uh, proper safety training should be he, he, given to all those people working in your construction industry and next is toolbox talk record uh, toolbox talk uh, also recorded daily basis how many uh, toolbox attendance conducted weekly key task meeting job specific thing that all are tbg um, records should be must be prepared and after that hsc e daily inspections format after that uh, hsc inspections uh, record hsc inspections record must be uh, prepared or must be uh, filing because of hsc e inspections record how to you are implementation hsc first you should uh, you should have um, inspections checklist after that uh, i have to go some once uh, if you are using of tower then make a uh, uh, take a, a checklist and safety officers and safety uh, uh, and the tower can engineers, mechanical in mechanical engineers both are go on through through the check the tower as per checklist. And after that sign which which are any gap found so then we can in checklist and how to implement tests take a target date. If in case of a major point finding, then you can stop immediate work. So this is a part of inspection checklist. If you are going to continue who doing inspections all power tools uh, tackles then you can save some one human life because of if you are not conducting not inspecting the power tools inspections equipments then maybe some mistakes some failures happen so inspections record must be uh, keeping in files like the daily inspection checklist uh, daily inspection checklist weekly inspection checklist plant equipment plants checklist, uh, vehicle checklist, uh, equipment, uh, mechanical checklist, electrical checklist, PPE checklist, all those type of PPE is available as per your site activity, yeah, as per your project is specific activity, then you should prepare and you should maintain record and with a signage, uh, with a sign by the competent persons so which are uh, liable to improvements, uh, those uh, are uh, finding. After that, HSC observation. HSC observation is a part of safety improvements. Uh, this is a leading indicator. This is a proactive, uh, we can say proactive improvements. Uh, because of if you are a safety officer, then you must be you maintain the one register. SOP safety observations to make a, some, if you are going to site visit, then make a, uh, uh, keep a uh, register and uh, record the every observations and take sign by the engineer supervisor because in case of any accident happen in case of any um, engineer misses happen then you can say that already you have uh, uh, informed to but you are not taking action i can action so oh guys safety observations uh, must be he done and everyone's uh, responsible to do the safety inspections sometimes uh, weekly make a plan of weekly uh, weekly safety inspections jointly including the all engineers and department head and senior management visit because of we are also follow uh, also or oh, follow or oh, also incorporate a plan of senior man, senior management safety work done at your workplace and uh, third party uh, some people uh, came to your office visitors some ask to uh, if any observations please give me feedback for so this is a part of improvement and this record should be maintained in uh, your
or office so we are talking about the documentation part you are remember that you are talking in documentation part this is a also documentation part all observations should be proper recorded in your file and uh, check the uh, how many compensations done or not done if you have uh, and every observation must be closed out because of all the observation is not our responsibility and it is not our job so my job is there if finding observations you should close we all are involvement and close that at, uh, that all types of safety observation at your work place accident investigations report near me so to prepare if in case of first aid health case case i can then report should be maintained if in case of any uh, in near me so i can then record should be prepared so all those uh, all record should be uh, must be prepared hsc hsc e e minutes of meetings hsc minutes of minute uh, minute acts of meeting suppose that we are uh, uh, maybe a weekly safety met, uh, review meetings uh, safety committee meetings uh, staff safety meeting uh, meetings uh, your safety person uh, safety meetings so suppose that we are uh, talking about the standing meeting you are doing some specific safety meeting like the welfare uh, are about the health welfare then must we prepare the agenda must we prepare mom then you can and take action for about that because of this all our reports should be must because in case of any if someone ask you what happens in next day that you know you can see that and we can so <coughs> so that we have uh, we have conducted safety any trainings safety meetings so this is a part of our documentation next hsc statistics report hsc statistics reports uh, uh, should be made monthly weekly and quarterly and display in your safety office and record should be maintained in your file emergency mock drill every quarterly you should prepare you should do the uh, emergency mock drill plan, plan as per scenario as per risk in your construction project because of persons fall from height this is a major uh, major uh, gap and fire electricity the odds are required to conduct every month different type of scenario or should be incorporate in your plan and conduct mock drill and record should be prepared in your safety office and record every record should be prepared and approval and authority of sign should be with stamp is if possible to stamp paper so you can see that so guys next uh, next is third party inspectors if you are using 